People in Pakistan are mourning the deaths of trainee policemen killed in Monday's attack on a police academy in the southwestern city of Quetta. Rosalind Devavali at our bureau in Bangkok has the details on this and other stories. Pakistani officials said on Tuesday that the death toll has risen to 61. They fear the number could rise further as more than 100 people are critically wounded. Funerals were held in Quetta on Tuesday. Pakistan's army chief, General Rahil Sharif, attended along with other officials. Monday's attack was the deadliest in Pakistan since a suicide bomber killed 70 people who had gathered at a hospital to mourn the death of a prominent lawyer in the same city in August. The nation was grief-stricken by the deadly attack. This is very sad. Pakistanis are in shock after hearing this news. We strongly condemn it. Our people are standing shoulder to shoulder with our forces. Quetta was placed under heightened security on Tuesday. The attack happened in a suburb of Quetta late Monday night. Several gunmen attacked a dormitory while the cadets were asleep. The Amak News Agency, which is linked to the Islamic State group, published a claim of responsibility, saying three of the group's fighters were involved. But a top military commander in Baluchistan said Tuesday that the gunmen were from a banned sectarian militant group. Yeah, basically, Terrorists from lashkar e jangvi al alami were involved in this attack. They received instructions from their commanders hiding inside Afghanistan. The group is believed to be responsible for numerous terror attacks, particularly against minority Shiites.